Hey, welcome back to Framer Dive, where we turn clean ideas into beautiful Framer interactions. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to build this smooth scroll based reveal effect using four images. Each image starts at 25% of the screen, and as you scroll, they slide under this mask while the inner content shifts in the opposite direction, creating this super modern dynamic feel. It's clean, it's interactive, and surprisingly easy to pull off in Framer. If you want to learn this, let's dive in. So the first thing is I am going to hold F on my keyboard and I am going to come here and draw a frame. And this frame, I'm going to name it my scroll section. So I'm going to get rid of the fill color and I'm going to set the width to fill and I'm going to work with a width fixed of 2405. So we need to have a longer width, a longer height, sorry, so that we can have space to scroll. Again, always remember that any part there is a scroll effect, there is usually something called uh, a scroll section and this is what we are building. So scroll section is critical to understand whenever you see any form of interaction. So I'm just going to come to my desktop and I'm going to set the height to fit the content. So now as you can see my whole desktop which is my entire website is going to fill the is going to fit this the scroll section and then i'm just gonna come to scroll section and add a layout to it so that if i add contents or child elements inside this scroll section there is some form of structure so i'm gonna hold f on my keyboard again and i'm gonna draw another frame now inside my scroll section and i'm gonna set it to view and i'm gonna set the height to viewport 100 vh and uh, first i want to make sure that this frame is on top of my scroll section as you can see it's in the middle so to do that i'm gonna go to the scroll section and i'm gonna distribute it from the start and once i distributed it i'm gonna come to the frame and i'm gonna give it an identity and i'm gonna name it a sticky container so this, as, as the word says, this is a container that is going to be sticky, meaning when we scroll our website, it needs to stick to our screen. But as you can see, it's not sticking, it's just flowing as we scroll. So the whole idea is to make this blue part stick to our screen. So to do that, I am going to come and come to the positioning type of this sticky container, and I'm going to set it to sticky. And notice what happens our viewport height adjusts to 33 so we just need to come and return it to 100 vh and then anytime we set something to sticky as you can see this icon here it says please note that sticky will only work if all parent layers have overflow set to visible so we need to come to parent layers parent layers are layers that are above our container so this is a parent layer of sticky container so i'm just gonna click it and i'm gonna make sure the property is set to overflow is set to visible and then i'm gonna go to the parent layer of this scroll section which is my desktop and also make sure the overflow is set to visible this is good then if i now view my page we should be able to see the blue part sticking to our screen so that's the first easy part the second part is I'm going to add the content inside here, basically the images. And so I'm going to get rid of this uh, color and then I'm going to hold F on my keyboard. And I think the first easy thing is I want to draw this frame and I'm going to call this my BG image. So this is the image that is going to be beneath everything as we scroll. So remember when we scroll in our our website we have something here notice here when i scroll there's this dog image and this dog image is the one which is going to represent our background so let me just go back to it and uh, i'm just gonna go to the bg image and i'm gonna make sure it's pinned to the top at zero pinned to the right at zero pinned to the bottom at zero and pinned to the left at zero 
So then I'm just gonna come and change and put a random image inside it. So we're gonna work with cars today. So let me just work with uh, a nice car image and see if we can create something nice to represent cars. So I like this image and I can even add some text to it. Maybe I can say, let's drive, let's, uh, let me say, let's drive this car. So this is just a small thing that we are doing. And uh, as you can see, this is a text. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm gonna just change the color of the text so it's visible. And I'm just gonna position it at the center of our image. So let me just make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna position it at the center. There's a shortcut to position anything at the center of our screen by just holding Alt V H and it comes at the center. Maybe I'll just drag it down a bit so it's clear and we can see it. Um, so that's that's the first easy part, which is adding our background image. So the next part is we're gonna add our images. So let me just hide this background image so you guys can see clearly as we build these images. So I'm gonna hold F on my keyboard and I'm gonna draw a frame. I'm gonna set the width to relative and I'm gonna set it at 25%. So, and then I'm gonna make sure the height is set to 800 pixels. And then I'm gonna position it at the center and at the middle of my page like that. So, but essentially I want this to be my first uh, frame. So what I'll do, I'll pin it to the left part and I'm gonna pin it to zero on the left bit. So, this is a frame that is going to have our image. So I'm gonna call this my image mask. And then inside it, we need to add an image. So let me just get rid of this color and I'm gonna hold F again on my keyboard while I'm clicking the image mask. I'm gonna insert an image inside here. So, um, so I want this image to be pinned to the left of my so I need to come to this part and I'm gonna set it to zero. So, and then I'm also gonna make sure it's pinned to the top and make sure it's pinned to the bottom of my mask. And then I'm just gonna drag it till we fill the entire website page like that. So essentially this image is taking this whole space here, but we can only see this part because of this image mask, which is this size. And uh, again, another critical bit, make sure this image mask is set to absolute positioning and also the image frame is set to absolute positioning. So I'm just gonna come here and add an image. So now we have an image there and then the next thing is I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come to this image mask and duplicate it four times. And remember again, we're still retaining 25% on the width and 800 on the height. So now as you can see what we have, we have four image masks, each with a width of 25% and uh, positioned absolutely. The first image is pinned to the left, top and bottom. The second image is only pinned to the top and bottom. The, that image, this one is pinned to, again, make sure it's pinned only to the top and bottom. And the, the final image, which is on the fourth one, is pinned to the top, bottom, and right. So now that's off, uh, another critical bit. So now what we need to do is, if we view what we have, you are going to see that we have something. So let me just uh, wait for it to render. So there's a bit of a delay. I think it's because of the images. Yeah, so let me just show you what we have. So we have our images here, but something is happening because as I scroll here, this is not adjusting as we wanted it to. You notice this one has a space, white space. It means the width is kind of fixed. So we need to go back and make sure the width is, yeah, you see the width is set to fixed. Make sure the width is 25%. So 
So that's a very critical bit. So then the next part is, uh, as you can see, we can scroll, nothing is happening. So the next bit is when we want to add those effects, but once we scroll, there is going to be this amazing interactive effect. So I'm just going to come here to my image mask and I'm going to click effects. And then I'm going to click scroll transform. Chia is on scroll and then effect from one opacity one scale one and then i'm gonna use an offset of the x axis because i want it to move along the x axis so i'm gonna give this minus 1200 pixels and then i'm gonna go to the image and i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna add an effect add a scroll transform uh, from one scale one and then we're going to offset it all the way to 1200 pixels. So notice this one we're using 1200 pixels. The other one we used minus 1200 pixels. So let me just show you what is happening here. So what is happening is we're taking one of this image mask and we're moving it to the left side. And we're taking this image and we're moving it counterwise to the right side. So it's kind of creating this illusion that the image is moving, but it's not moving because since the image mask is moving and the image is also moving in the opposite direction, the image remains still and feels like it's not moving. So that's something you might find difficult to understand, but it's not as intuitive. So it's okay if you don't understand it, but just try it out and see how it happens. So I'm just going to go back and essentially I'm going to do the same for this other image mask and this image. So to do that easily, I'm just going to click here, copy this effect and I'm just going to come to the image mask and I am going to paste this inside here. So I'm going to paste the, uh, I'm going to paste the effect, so paste it here. So notice it comes and we can see from one. Uh, all the way to negative 1200 and then two is sorry we have a problem here so it's it hasn't taken the two it has just taken the from let's see i think we did a problem let's go back to the image mask and our from actually the from should be zero sorry so it needs to come from this to negative 1200 so slight mistake there remember it is the two that we need to adjust the offset, not the from. And again, we do the same for this one. Make sure the from is zero, comes from zero, and goes all the way to negative 1200. Nice. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy this effect, and I'm gonna paste it inside the other image mask. I'm gonna paste effect. I'm gonna do the same to this third one. I'm gonna say, based effects so now i can confirm they look good so from one that's okay to negative 1200 so notice it comes from here to here which is good so again also notice this one um uh, comes from you know uh comes from comes from here to here again that's what we wanted so again let's now also do the same for the image so make sure again let me just confirm so again, we made a problem here. So make sure the from is from zero and the two is to 1200 uh, pixels, like that. And then, so I'm just gonna come, copy the effects, so copy this effect, and I'm gonna paste it inside this new image. And I see paste effects, which is okay. I'm gonna do the same for the other images. And I'm gonna paste effects here. So now I can confirm that is okay. From that's okay, that's okay. So now let's yeah. test it and see if we have this working. So let's come to my screen and uh, let's see the magic as I'm scrolling. Hmm, something is not working fine. Ah, we have a big problem here. Again, we have a big problem, but I think we also need to come to the background image and set it to show so let's just see what problem we have here okay so um 
Okay, so the background image has a Z index. So it's up, it's above our, our image mask. So I need to come to the image mask and make sure every single one of them has a Z index that is above this. So let me give it a Z index of one, which is good. So now let's see what happens when you scroll. So, hmm, so it's giving us a very, a very sleek effect that, but we didn't want to create this. So we need to go back and check what exactly, what are we missing? And uh, I'm gonna go back to my image mask and I'm gonna look at the positioning type and I'm gonna make sure that we fix something here. So let's now look at the image, okay? So let's go to the first image mask and the second image, okay? So as you can see, we have the image pinned to this part here. It's pinned to negative 900. It's not pinned to the right negative 900, but it's at the edge here. And then I think then we need to go back to our image. So, so I'm gonna come here to this image. And uh, as you can see, the size, I wanna show you something very critical here. So as you can see, the size of my image is this part, okay? So what, what this means is as we start to scroll, this image should be coming all the way till around here, but we can't see it. That's why we have this white thing, or that's why we can see the background. So we have realized our problem. So to fix that, I need to come to the image. I need to come and drag it to the left side. I need to come and be, give it like a, a width, an increased width, and let me give it like around... Uh, um, let me give it 1800 just for the sake of uh, showing you. So I, let me just use 1800. So what this means is as this thing is moving, we can be able to see this car while... So we can be able to see this car while it's here and while it's here. And I think that's the biggest problem that we missed. So let's go back to the second, the third image mask. And as you can see again, we have the same problem here. This image should be filling this space here. It should be somewhere around here. And that's why we have this white space, okay? So let's just do it. So I'm gonna hold this image and I'm gonna drag it till this farthest bit, like here. And um, I'm gonna just minimize it like this. So I'm gonna adjust its width. I think that is good so that we don't really zoom into the car. And I'm going to do the same for this image. Again, as you can see, we also need to pull this to this part here, around here. And then I can just return it back to here. So this is something that we missed. And I think now we should have solved our problem. Uh, so all our images are fitting well. So this first image, we don't really need to push it to this left bit because we only see this part. and we don't really see the other bits. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I come now to my website and I start to scroll, as you can see, we have this nice effect, which is working perfectly. And uh, yeah, so it now works amazingly well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something. If you wish to recreate this yourself, I'll have the remix file in the description for free and you can check it out. If you also are thinking on how we can make this responsive, you can just comment below if you can't or you're struggling to do it and I'll come up with a video which is gonna show you how to do just that. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.